Council, Council, very well known, uh, and certainly Andrew Parsons, the president of Brazilian Paralympic Committee, will also make uh, games take place from 7 to 18 of September. Uh, These cuts are on top of the ones that we, together with the IOC, have already made in the last 12 months and are likely to impact nearly every stakeholder attending the Games. We are working desperately hard to protect athlete services, especially within the field of play. The athletes have dedicated their lives to reaching these Games, and we will do our utmost to try and maintain the service levels and scope that they expect at the Paralympic Games. Uh, as we all know, we're going to be talking about uh, Javier Gonzalez. Um, he will be a bit more. Currently, we have around 10 nations who, even if the grants are paid, may struggle to cover the cost of their travel to the Games. The IPC is working with them to find solutions and ensure their participation in Rio. We have to have full participation here standings after the Paralympic Games. So this is a huge... Uh, Never before in the 56-year history of the Paralympic Games have we faced circumstances like this. Clearly, Brazil is in a far different position now to the one that it was in October 2009 when it won the right to stage both Games. has a bold uh, commitment, I would say, to be on the top five. Canada did really well in the Olympic Games, so it's. Então eu queria me dirigir agora mais especificamente ao público brasileiro. Eu não queria nem convidar o público brasileiro. Eu quero é convocar o público brasileiro. Eu acho que nós temos um dever para com os atletas paralímpicos desse país, que para a Olimpíada após para a Olimpíada vem ganhando medalhas para o Brasil, colocando o hino nacional para tocar quase todos os dias. It's classic system uh, name and. Uh... Uh, for his comments, uh, so 